Much like 2020, 2021 was a year unlike any other in sports. At least one sense of normalcy made a return. Welcome back, fans. It feels amazing. I mean, it's been so long. Last year was so weird with no fans in the stadium, even though, thank God, they played. We had something to watch at home. But just being back and being around the atmosphere, I, I smelled the air when I got here. First, it started out with limited capacity back in February. A month later, New York venues were allowed to return to 100% capacity for fully vaccinated fans. That announcement allowed us to see a magical Knicks season. Knicks have numbers, alley -oop. Alley -oop to top it. What a year last season by the Knicks. The postseason run was short-lived, but the team did earn their first playoff win in eight years against Atlanta. Meanwhile in Brooklyn. Here is Durant moving on Tucker. He turns, he shoots. Yes! The Nets were one shoe size away from beating the Bucks in game seven. Sports is a game of inches, and Kevin Durant's size 18 shoe may have cost him the game. This year has also been a roller coaster in Brooklyn. First, Kyrie Irving couldn't play as a part-time player. Now, he can, but only in road games because he's unvaccinated. In the NFL, Tom Brady once again reminded everyone that betting against him is never a good choice. In his first year in Tampa Bay, Brady led the Bucs to claim his seventh Super Bowl ring. Before the Jets can win a Super Bowl, they have to make the playoffs. They believe they have someone to lead them there now. The New York Jets select Zach Wilson, quarterback, BYU. When it comes to New York baseball, the Mets' holiday shopping spree approach before the MLB lockout was simple. Buy, buy, buy. Among their many new acquisitions was ace Max Scherzer, a three-year, $130 million deal. The other big move by the Amazings was the introduction of veteran manager Buck Showalter. One of the biggest things I'm drawn to is teams and situations and organizations that can win consistently. It's so hard to do, especially winning when you're expected to win. On the other side of town, the Yankees' year in review is best labeled as sticky. I don't... I don't know... I, I, I don't know if... Uh, I don't know quite... I don't quite know how to answer that. That wasn't a freeze frame that you just saw. It was Garrett Cole's awkward answer to a question if he's ever used spider tack. That encounter ultimately led to Major League Baseball enforcing umpires to check pitchers' hats and gloves and maybe more for any sticky substance. Let's go Islanders! No longer is Long Island the land of no. We are the land of yes, yes, yes. Goodbye to the old barn and hello to the UBS arena. The Islanders were finally able to step foot in their new home arena in November after playing the first 13 games of this season on the road. The Islanders have been the closest team in our area lately to end New York's decade drought of no professional championships. That was until New York City Football Club yelled Timber in Portland. NYCFC won their first ever MLS championship in December, ending our city's long stretch of no ticker tape celebrations. Speaking of triumph, the U.S. won the most medals at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. Most of the headlines from these Olympics went to the Times Athlete of the Year Simone Biles. Biles stepped away from competition briefly due to her mental health. The star gymnast eventually returned to win bronze on the women's balance beam. Biles is still considered the GOAT in gymnastics, but this could be the beginning of the end for her. And for another GOAT, but in tennis, the time is running out for Serena Williams to tie Margaret Court's 24 Grand Slam titles. Serena is still recovering from a torn hamstring. The injury has forced her to miss the U.S. Open in Queens and January's Australian Open. Very much like Williams, the future for Tiger Woods is also uncertain. I'm lucky to be able alive but also still had the limb. Woods almost lost his leg in a horrific car crash back in February. Playing golf full-time is no longer an option for the 15-time major champion. What is at least encouraging is seeing this. Woods back out on the course with his son Charlie. The two finished in second place at the PNC Championship in December. As Woods and many of us have learned this year, being still and just appreciating what you have is more than enough. <laughs>